stains in washes. One of the main ingredients that all of these decorating mediums have in common is they include ceramic stains to get their color. So what is a ceramic stain? Well, a ceramic stain is essentially a powdered pigment made of a combination of oxides and frits. What is a frit? Well, most simply, frit is ground glass, but more complicated, it's a combination of high flux elements, a bit of alumina, and enough silica to make it stable. So without getting into glaze, glazes too much or glaze chemistry, in ceramics, when it comes to glazes, we have three main components that are in our glazes. So we need a glass former, we need a refractory or a stabilizer, and we need a flux. So our main glass former that we have in ceramics is silica. Then we add to that alumina. Alumina adds durability and stability to the melt. So durability to the glass and stability to the melt. So essentially it keeps our glazes from running off of our pots. Well, silica and alumina both have very, very high melting temperatures, higher than our kilns can get to in our studio. So because of that, we need to have a flux. Flux's job, a flux's job is to lower the melting temperature of silica and alumina. A frit is a ceramic glass that has been pre-mixed from powdered materials it's cooled by quenching it in water, and then it is ground up into a fine powder. So what a frit does is it encapsulates otherwise water soluble, so materials that dissolve in water, and it renders them insoluble, so unable to be dissolved in water. So why does this matter? Well, some soluble fluxes can create problems during the kiln firing process, Fritz can solve some of those problems. Fritz can reduce melting temperatures. They can improve melt predictability and batch consistency, and they can provide wider firing ranges. Okay, so there it is. Hopefully a not too complicated, quick ceramic chemistry lesson.